farmers do not sow from their harvest, they sow to their harvest. The church must always stay focused on reaching people. Destiny is not handed to us by angels. Destiny is apprehended. Say what God's word declares until you see the manifestation. In the midst of your problems, the blessing will promote your purpose. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just, but it's not just going to fall out of the trees on us. It's going to come under this principle of seed time and harvest. So our dominion and the glory of God on our life is relative to how well we walk in the kingship and the priesthood that God has set us in. When God speaks to you prophetically and He speaks to you from Scripture, He's not speaking about where you are. He's always speaking about your future. And He speaks about the destiny He's programmed into you. In the midst you. of my problems, I've got a power working in my life that promotes my purpose in the midst of my problems. Ask Joseph about it. We're separated from God through the fall of the first Adam, but we're brought back to the plan of God through the resurrection of the second Adam. And some of you are on the verge of walking in what God has promised and prophesied because you're not throwing in the towel, you're not giving up, and you're saying, hey, in the name of Jesus, that is mine. You can't be defined by your circumstances. You can change things in your family. Words have immense power. God is going to do something powerful.